Hi all guys, gals. I want to talk with you about what, why I'm in bold. And yeah, let me just focus on the main to be honest with you. Basically, I just discovered today. Basically, I wore, wore, I wore my hat. I, I mean, you know, as you can see, I've got a bow, bow patch. So, um, there you go, I'm going to show it to you bright and clear. So, yeah, man's got ball patch. So, what it is is that today I walk, I, I was, I decided that, you know, uh, you know, you know, I was thinking that I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat my hair, you know, um, put get it treated you know it currently cost seven thousand to get it treated but it could be cheaper because they have to, because it's so much hair loss there and it is gonna you know that's why it cost seven hundred thousand sorry seven yeah seven thousand and I could easily do it I could easily save up and buy it but the thing is I and I know I've also got the amount of hairs hairs for it. Some people don't have the amount of hairs for it because what it is is that I've got what is it? What do they call it? I've got I've got a follicle. I don't, I, I can't quite understand how this works, but basically the what the words they use basically I know what it is. What the words they use? They, they you know they said the hair follicles. I've got I've got three hair follicles, and it's all over my body. It's not just on my top of my head basically what it is out of all these three follicles they're all grown they're all grown like like that and there's another what they're all like different sizes and they're growing from the root like this and what it is that they when they do the operation to 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 transplant it they'll take some of it from the back from the back and around the, the most where where it's where it's mostly hair and they'll they remove like one of the good hair strands or maybe another either one or two they'll remove and they'll put it at the front so it's all so all of what's here at the back and put it at the front and they'll keep doing that on until and it takes it might take two days to do so what it is by the way I'm not wearing a sparkly shirt that's why this I mean it could be the camera why I might shirt is sparkling I'm not wearing a sparkly shirt it's not sparkling basically so could be the video so basically I said I was gonna treat I'm, I was thinking to myself and I kept on pro protesting around people that I know that want to treat my hair but as I oh, as I oh, my hair is as I made a decision to go even further to treat it I decided um, basically because I was wearing what it is. What it is is that um, as I was yeah, like I said, as I made it, made the decision to to go ahead and go for the operate the to treat the the treatment. Because I went went for I went in for a free consultation this month, and basically, as I decided to go in and and, I, and for the past couple less than a week or week not long after I went for the free consultation basically sorry basically I I was wearing this cap throughout the whole time I was I was I was in, in my local area today in my local streets just getting my lunch and that kind of stuff and and just I was basically just heading back and I mean, when I, I mean, I first noticed it on the bus when I walk, walk, came down the stairs. I, it happened, it happened three times when I walked down the stairs. So, sorry, I walked down the stairs at the top of the, you know, the double decker buses. I walked down the stairs, and I normally do my normal thing. I just go down the stairs and look down, and then when I go to the bottom of the stairs, I look up, and there was a woman, a good-looking woman. Look, um, she. She was good looking, but basically, 
she looked at me plus she was on the phone now before we go any further you guys might think you know women just look you know don't work don't worry about it you know women are just looking women just like to look at people look at guys but it's not about the way how she's looking at me you know I mean I know what it means when a woman looks at a man and it ain't about what you're wearing or what you look like it's it's all about you know it's, it's you're hinting to the guy you're hinting to the guy you're saying I'm here I'm ready and I'm waiting for you that's the kind of hint you're giving out when a woman stares at a man and you're, you're the woman is basically saying I'm interested I'm interested in you I've known that kind of look from a woman for a long time very very long time we're talking back when I was at school we're talking about say we're talking about say uh, I would say when I was in my teens age 13 I've known it for a very long time now it happened again the second time when I was heading back home walking back home and basically I saw the, I think either I saw one lady with a with a child at the back at the back of the seat she must have saw me coming but then in a corner of her eye but she didn't look the woman with the, with, with, woman with the child in her car but the this woman with the child in her car but the but the next lady she was she was good looking but she had no one in the car it was just her on her own with nobody in the car and she was good looking but she looked at me she looked at me you know it doesn't matter how long she looked and um, for a man you know how long they look how, how long a woman looks automatically it's second nature and she was doing the same look as well I like you I'm interested sort of thing I'm, I'm I like the way you look I like the way you dress I'm interested and then moving another car length on the same road the same same road I saw a second woman and she was doing it and she was in the same position as well nobody nobody in the car just her on her own and she was giving me, giving me the same look I'm interested I like what you look like what you wear you know I'm, I'm in, I, I like how you look I'm interested and I'm waiting so that was three in total in one day now let me explain myself me personally and with any any human being, any man or any kind of human being, even with women, you know, I'm a very, I'm a very dis deceptive guy. You know, because you know, human beings are naturally fallen, and because of because of the because of you know the fall of man, from what the Bible has been talking about they they're easily susceptible to, to sin or anything else now me I know personally I am very easily deceived I can, I can be very easily deceived or very very easily influenced and if I'm like that I'm sure other men are like that or other women now coming to the bit about why 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 uh, why a man why a man is bold the reason why a man is bold is to protect themselves from being uh, you know either a, you, I mean let's just put it straight let's just put it blatantly straight is to prevent a man especially if they're good looking and I know I'm a good looking person and even if I had the hair when I had the hair I would be terribly good looking now now the thing is you know the reason why a man is bald is because 
is to is is to protect them from being a lost bag, and to protect him and protect them from chasing all sorts of women and getting all sorts of women, random women, women pregnant. Because you see how the world is, you see how the world is from past, present, and future. How men chase after women and get women get women pregnant and lead the woman to it to have the baby and have all the stress. And not just that. Not just that. You know, some women, some men go around raping women and killing women just for sex. You know, goodness knows why 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 men why men go go around murdering people. I can't. I still can't understand that. And it takes so much strength and ferocity to to murder a woman. I mean, I can't understand that. I mean, you that person's gotta gotta hate that person, hate that woman that much to do that terribly. That's why the Bible talks about you know, you hate your brother. You you you, you basically want to kill him. You hate your brother. You, you basically want to kill him. You just want to murder them. That's what. If you hate your brother, that means you want to murder them. That's that's what the Bible says. So that's why a man is bold. It's because of good looks. So as for me, my announcement today is that I might not. I might not treat my hair. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't like. I don't. I don't want to be controlled by the devil. I don't want to be set loose. Just, just banging any old woman I feel like. Cause I'm not that kind of guy. I used to be when I wasn't when I wasn't saved. Cause I was a young young teenager. But I'm not that kind of guy. So. Yeah. You know. I can't underestimate what what has happened in my life, past, present, and current. Sorry, past, present, and future. Although I don't know, although I don't know, don't know the future, but I got some some small about small idea of what my calling is, and that's to create videos online. That's one of them. That's my job. So, yeah, that's really all I have to say in this video. So, God bless, take care, and peace be with you. Before I go, I hope you've understood what I've, what I've explained. I'm sure you have. But I also want to say that. Don't be tempted by. In fact, I got something else to say. I'm not finished yet. Don't be tempted by what's going on in the world because I've I've asked many women out for dates, at least at least 18, and they've all rejected me. And and I do believe that those 18 that all those 18 that have rejected me, I do believe. Is part of, part of the parcel of be, of having a bald bald head. I do believe that's the only reason why. So, and it's because of 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 my bald bald head. So, that's so you know. There's so many women out there that just want to chase after their own their own selfish selfish dreams and don't want to seek God's kingdom and there's many of them I've seen many many you know the Bible talks about wide is the gate that reaches to the that reaches to the to, that reaches to destruction and narrow is the gate that leads to righteousness I've seen so many things in my life and I'm only currently 33 next birthday is in March and 
I've learned a lot just by this. I've learned a lot about people just by that. Especially women. Now, what can I say? Nothing much. So, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through if you have done so. And, you know, if you're tied up with, with the temptation of sex and sex outside of marriage, choose Jesus because He's the only way that can. He's the only one that can ease your temptation. He's the only one that can satisfy the burning desire of of the pain that's within, that's hurting, when you feel there's something missing in your heart, in your body, in your mind, in your life. He's the only missing link, and He's the only one that will ever feel it, and that's Jesus Christ. All you gotta pray this all you gotta do is pray this prayer and just say, you know, on the words of, on the words like Dear Jesus, I come before you humbly if I, humbly if I may and I ask you Lord Jesus to become Lord over my life and I turn away from my sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You can close your eyes. You know, before you prayed that prayer. But if you prayed it, you can secretly let me know. Call me on the app. I know in any of the descriptions of the videos of that, that I've done, or any or anywhere on my on my channel. Let me. I'll, t I'll encourage you with something if you've prayed this prayer and meant it. You won't regret. You won't regret the decision you made. That on on the prayer of salvation, I've just prayed. You won't regret it. As long as you look forward, you won't regret it. So that's all I have to say for this for this video. So God bless. Take care. Bye for now. Peace be with you. Bye for now. Sorry, repeating myself.